Alright, this is the update video for my Mac OS X Lion VMware images and this video is going to show you how you can install 10.7.3 in VMware and how you can run it from an image that I created. And the reason that this is so late um, in comparison to my previous versions is because I've been trying a bunch of new stuff, um, most of which won't be actually included in this um, version of the image but will most likely be in the next one. However, there are a couple of things that I've put in this one that I haven't tried before, which should speed it up for most people and, you know, just increase um, functionality in general, basically. And so, if you want to download this image, um, there's a torrent link in the description and there is also some, like, a link to some direct links. And basically, the quick, the quick way to do it will be using the torrent link and that is what I want you to use. Um, However, if those there are, I know there's people that don't like using torrents because they have like a bad reputation, and so those people can use the direct links, and there's a big list of them. So if you just want to go use them, um, then that's fine as well. But as I said, the torrent link will be a lot faster, so don't complain at me if direct links are slow. So just get that out of the way first. And so what you'll download um, is this exe file. Now to get it clear straight away, this exe file does, isn't actually a program, it's just a self-extracting archive. So once you open it, you basically just get this and just click extract and you'll be left with this folder here. And so this folder is, you know, contains everything you're going to need and I'm just going to go through it really quickly. So in that folder you should have these, um, these three folders here. And the top folder is where your virtual machine is stored. The second folder is for... The second folder is for those people who use the hardware virtualization bypasser and if you're not sure on what that is I'll go through it in a minute. And the bottom one is the Mac OS X guest unlocker. And so first things first, we'll start with the unlocker. Um, what you need to basically do with the unlocker is just go into the folder and select whichever like series of VMware you have. So VMware 7.1.x equates to workstation 7.1. whatever, you know, 3 to, 3 to 5. And it also equates with, you know, Fusion 3 and, you know, stuff that was released at the same time. And then 8.x is basically workstation 8 along with Fusion 4 and um, player 4. So I'm using workstation 8, so I'm just going to go into the 8 section. And if you want to check how to use any of them, just click, double click the README and there is instructions on each one, as you can see and also which versions are supported and I'm on Windows so I'm just going to do the Windows version so if I go into the Windows folder all I need to do is right click on install and click run as administrator and it should just run through And you can see that it just patches files and just basically replaces stuff and blah blah blah. Um, you don't really have to bother with what it's saying as long as it actually works. And so what that does is allow you to run Mac OS X in VMware. And so that's finished now. Um, you can tell because it obviously closes. And if you ever want to install it, just run the install. So now if we go back to the main um, folder. The hardware virtualization bypass is something that I'm not going to actually use and show you. Um, I'll open it up and everything. And basically you can see here that what it does is it bypasses the actual, um, it bypasses the requirement for hardware virtualization, which some of you will get. And basically what happens is because of, like, because of the way some machines are built, they don't support um, actually virtualization in the hardware. Um, and so VMware basically runs off this and what this patch does is change um, a couple of bytes within one of the within obviously the VMware VMX file, and what that does is allow you to use software virtualization, which basically just bypasses the whole hardware thing altogether. And now to get this very clear, all you need to do, um, all, the only time you would ever need to use this is if you don't have hardware virtualization. And if you need to know how to do this, or need to know if you've got it, um, go into your BIOS, and in your BIOS there should be an option for it. So if that option is like disabled, then you want to enable it and then you're fine and you don't need to use this. If you don't see that option, then that is when you need to use this. And basically, that isn't that many people, but it's a fair number, so I just thought I'd stick this in as well. And if you need to actually know how to use this, um, and I haven't covered it enough for you, there's also a link 
in the download that you can double click to another tutorial or equivalent mothril. So that's that out of the way. And finally, just go into the Mac OS X Lion folder and double click on the VMX, which is the uh, file with these three little windows. And VMware Workstation should open up any second. There we go. And you can see that I'm using Workstation 8, but don't worry because I've made sure that the machine is compatible with Workstation 7. So um, either version is fine. And basically, what you want to do is just click Edit Virtual Machine Settings. And you want to go through and change whatever you want. So you can change memory to whatever number you feel like. Obviously, you know, make it within reason. I recommend using at least one gigabyte of RAM, which is a thousand to twenty-four megabytes. So make sure you use at least that. I would say, and that functions fine with me. So a gigabyte is probably, you know, a good amount. You can change processors, you know, um, connect CDs, change network. But basically, everything is configured so that it should work to start with, with the exception of sound. And for that, you just want to click specify host sound card and select, you know, whichever it is you use. Um, however, on that note. Um, with sound, it's kind of difficult because if you do that and you know select it and it doesn't work, it's because you need to install the drivers. And I'm not going to go through drivers in this video, but I'm going to add a video to my channel within a couple of days, and I'll stick a link in the description of this video, which will tell you how to you know install sound drivers and graphics drivers. So don't leave any comments around that because it is coming soon. I just don't have time to do it right now, so I'll come around to that. And so once you've configured it all, just click OK and then click power on this virtual machine and then once this little window pops up just click I copied it and then you just need to wait for the machine to boot up and that's also one of the things that I've improved it should boot up very quickly um, under a minute really however um, obviously it's not going to do it in under a minute on this because I'm recording so it's actually very slow um, but hopefully you should be able to see that it does boot faster than previous versions Oh, so it actually did boot up fairly fast, even though I'm recording. That was about, what, say, 30 odd seconds. Um, you can see it's not fully booted yet, but you can see that it's starting up. And once it starts up, you'll be greeted with um, basically an untouched version of 10.7.3. Um, so you'll have, you know, untouched is in the sense that it's just been updated. So you'll have, you know, iCloud, the message pop up for iCloud, and, you know, stuff like that. And just to very quickly show you, if I just click on the Apple up here and click about 10.7.3, and basically that's all there is to show you. Um, there's no password set in the accounts, so if you want to install something or run sudo commands, you need to set a password beforehand and then use the password that you set. And um, apart from that, I don't think there's anything else to say other than hopefully this is very useful for you. As you can see, um, there are significant improvements and it is you know very kind of snappy so that should improve a lot of the problems that a bunch of you are having and as I said sound and graphics drivers will come pretty soon I just don't have the time right now and other than that if you have any problems just leave them in the comments and I will address them as soon as possible um, subscribe to my channel for more videos in future and if you use the torrent link I would ask you to seed as much as possible please I know that for some people that's obviously you know not an option but if you can then it's highly appreciated and apart from that, just like the video and remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Um, I tried to keep it as simple as possible. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.